Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Today, I'm going to introduce my work about subject independent slow fall detection with wearable sensors via deep learning. I'm Xiao Shuai. I'm from Hamlin Center at Imperial College London. Elderly fallers are one of the major healthcare challenges. Many people, especially for elder people, they fall and their falls are not detected. So it may induce severe injuries or even death. COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world significantly. We are required to stay at home, quarantine, keep social distance. However, there are many safety issues. Fall is one of the major issues. If we stay at home, especially for people who live alone, they fall and no one knows this happened. So it is very important to build assistance to solve these problems. We proposed an automatic for detection systems. It can provide necessary detections and warnings so the patients, the elderly, they can enjoy the timely interventions. Currently, there are three types of the work, image-based, ambient-based, wearable-based. Image-based systems, they have some privacy issues. So it is not suitable for largely monitoring during COVID-19. Ambient-based, their signals is not stable because the signals such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth are easily affected by the electronics. So this signal is not suitable for this work. The wearable-based traditional methods, they use single sensor systems. It is not suitable for daily activities because the human activities is very complex. So we proposed to use multi-sensor systems to solve these problems. Firstly, we test the barometric sensors. You can see, if we open the window, the barometric sensors are very sensitive to this event. It increased significantly in the impact phase. That's why we use an IMU barometers on the West, then introduce a reference ambient sensors on the wall. Multi-sensor data synchronization is very important because such as barometers, they have five hertz sampling rates, but IMU have 56 hertz sampling rate. We use multi-threading to collect a series of time steps at the same time and use data interpolations to make sure they have the same dimensions for future proposition. You can see this is the data patterns, the slow force from the chair. The barometer's data profile is on the left. In the middle is IMU with accelerometers. In the right is IMU with gyrometers. The whole system has eight dimensions. It is very complex data. So we also compare the sleep with typing IMU. You can see the data is similar to the previous one. We propose to use deep learning to do this work because the traditional methods such as multi-threshold is not suitable for these situations. You can see our deep neural network. In the stage one, it has a convolutional layers, and stage two has another convolutional layers. Then it's connected with an 
via direction LSTM. Finally, it has a softmax layer. This computes a four event and a long four event for classification. This work use cynical decay schedules to do this work because traditional step decay schedules perform very bad performance in our systems. So we introduced cynical decay schedules. It proved that this schedule has better performance during training work and has a higher accuracy. You can see the protocols of our experiment. We add the confusing ADLS and noise ADLS to the basic ADLS and add the slow for even to the basic and transitional force. Here is the subjects we recommend for subject independent training. We use one subject data for training and 10 subject data for testing. So it's, it's very robust if our accuracy is very high. We compare the different accuracy of current systems. For single IMU, it's black in this figure. For single parameters, it's blue in this figure. Our systems is red in this figure. As you can see, the single IMU and single parameters, they show overfitting issues for deep neural network, but our systems, multi-sensor systems, has decreased the error rate significantly for the four groups. So it solved the overfitting issues. We also compare the different algorithms Traditional methods such as multi-threshold and some machine learning methods such as support vector machine, KNN, logistic regression, render forest decision trains, and gradient boosting. The accuracy is not good for this work, but our deep neural network has achieved 90% accuracy of this work. So it is more robust with subject independent training situations. We proposed an IMU barometers with wall sensor systems and integrate the robust activity and slow fall to the current protocols. Then use an algorithm of deep neural network CNN-LSTM for our fault detection classification work. These systems can be applied to the elderly and the people who live long, especially during COVID-19. It also can reduce the health givers' physical visits or the relations, physical visits of the elderly during COVID-19 pandemic. And this system also can be an IoT node for massive healthcare monitoring ne network for government because it has a very good privacy-friendly characteristics so it is very practical for the fault detection under the COVID-19 pandemic situations. Thank you for listening my presentation.